Hi, welcome to Chemistry 3006. I'm going to talk now about a really annoying thing in this particular field. And it seems to be an annoying thing which happens whenever engineers and to a lesser extent physicists get involved with things. There is no standardization. What do I mean by that? Well, I've been using E versus pH, but there are actually several kinds of different units and plots in use. I've already mentioned that in geochemistry it's quite common to use EH, the voltage uh, relative to the standard hydrogen electrode. I don't know why they put a H on there because uh, the IU pack defines E relative to the standard hydrogen electrode. But if you look into the literature you might see EH and maybe they use different electrodes to do some measurements in the field, you need to keep that into mind. Um, the most annoying uh, thing uh, used is PE, environmental chemistry. Is, it's quite uh, common to use PE rather than E. Now what is PE? Uh, PE, sometimes is written P epsilon or P little e, is the negative log of the concentration of the electrons. In the previous lecture, I explained to you that electron concentration, electrons are essentially negatively charged protons. Well, if they're just negatively charged protons and you can have a pH, negative log of the H plus concentration or activity, we can have PE, which is negative log of the electron concentration or electron activity. Right, let's see how that works. Here's how it works. Here's the Nernst equation at 25 degrees C. We've seen this before, m hydrogens, n electrons, etc. And here I have written down the Nernst equation uh, taking into account the electron concentration. Previously we didn't. We didn't take into account this concentration. So if we take into account the electron concentration, we get E0 equals E0 minus 0 0.059 on n times log. This part, B plus to the B divided by A plus to the A, A to the A, H plus to the M, and E concentration to the power M. Just as we removed, so that if we included E concentration, we would have it on the end here, ignoring this PE. Now we can take out the, the negative log of the electron concentration in exactly the same way as we took out the pH before. This time I'm leaving the H in here, I don't, just to make it simpler, and I'm taking out the PE. I'm leaving the pH in this constant over here. And this is what we get, 0 0.059 times PE. So there we have the electron concentration appearing explicitly in the Nernst equation. But it's a bit weird, so let's keep going to see what else we can discover about this PE. Now, at equilibrium, uh, delta G is zero, which implies E equals zero. So we can set this E equal to zero. And then uh, we know from thermodynamics that E zero is equal to RT on NF ln K, or if we're using log base 10 and putting in the Faraday constant, 96,500, and the gas constant and the temperature 25 degrees, if we plug those in, we'll get, and base 10, we'll get 0 0.059 divided in times log 10k. So that's E0. Fine. We know that. Let's substitute this E0 quantity back into the Nernst equation that we have had involving the electron concentration. So we whack that into there, and we would get 0 0.059 on n log k. Let's divide the whole equation by 0 0.059 and rearrange for PE and the 0 0.059s will drop out and we get PE equals 1 on n log k minus 1 on n log this quantity some series of concentrations. If we compare this to the original Nernst equation the one that's most normally used without electron concentrations the one back in the previous slide what we see is that uh, PE uh, is essentially just equal to E divided by 0 0.059, 16.9 uh, 
times E, the voltage. So PE, rather counterintuitively, is directly proportional to E. Both of these things have the same units, volts. Well, not actually not really, because this 0 0.059 has, has a particular set of units. Um, it's actually dimensionless, because it's a log of a dimensionless quantity, which is actually activity. And the only difference is that E and PE are different by a factor 16.9. So that's what PE is. The log concentration of electrons, that is PE, is proportional to the measured voltage, which is cool. So on one axis we have pH, on the other axis we can choose if we want to have the analogous quantity PE or E. Take your pick. See you later.